Hello everyone and welcome back to our European Journeyman series with Benfica. We're about to kick off the Tassa to Portugal placard. Um, we're away against Benfica, which is quite interesting. I'm still not entirely sure of the link, um, although one of you may have explained it in the comments uh, after last episode. Um, if we have a look at the schedule for today, we have this game before taking on a run of games that we should be winning quite comfortably, including two against Genk in the Europa League, where we have a 100% record up to now. Uh, we've also got games against Braga and Martimo. Braga will be quite a tough team. They're currently 10th in the league, though, so that might help us. Um, and then we finish off today's episode at home against Sporting Lisbon, who are currently top of the league. They are league champions as well. So they're the team we're looking to dethrone. We have completely shifted the team around for this match. We've just had an international break the rest of the players are quite fit but they could do with maybe a little bit of a rest so we're going to give Zivkovic and Z Gomez a start up front Z Gomez scored his first goal for Portugal in the last international break which was nice for him uh, we've then got Rafa Silva taking on the advanced playmaker role with Batista Carvalho and Loftus Cheek in the middle uh, Arke, Alvaro, Mamana and Pinheiro are the back line with Murray staying in goal despite conceding four goals in his last match. Mamana over to Pinheiro. Batista in the middle, got a lot of space in the middle there. Nobody coming out to him whatsoever. Charges a ball forward to Z Gomez. Now Rafa onto Zivkovic who's hit the woodwork but Z Gomez hits the woodwork as well. Carvalho. Sends the ball over to Mamana. Now Loftus Cheek. Back to Alvaro. Batista to Loftus Cheek again. Pinheiro with a lot of space. He can put a cross in. He does low, but it's cleared away. Carvalho. Rafa Silva can't win the header. Here's Batista. Carvalho again. Goes past one player. Finds Pinheiro. Ball drilled in. And Zivkovic picks up the loose ball to give us a lead. Pinheiro with the throw. Finds Carvalho. Loftus cheek to Batista, edge of the area, his shot charged down. Arke has taken the ball and puts it across. Zivkovic can only hit the woodwork. Carvalho to Arke, now Pinheiro spreads it wide to Batista. Arke in a good position, can put the cross in, and Rafa Silva comes in to make it 2 0. Loftus cheek to Rafa Silva, lays it off to Batista. Zivkovic to Batista, finds Rafa Silva, who finds the bottom corner with a first-time shot. Malera is a full-time whistle. It's finished 3-0, a very, very easy game. Um, it was always likely to be an easy game, but we've managed to get the job done. It's a good win for morale as well, and it makes sure we go through to the next round of the competition. Well, at home against Genk, we should be picking up maximum points once again in the Europa League. We're switching to the home formation, which sees Lincoln on the left flank and Rafa Silva continuing on the right flank. Jimenez back through the middle with Horta, Samaris and Kubas in the centre of the pitch. Grimaldo's at left back, Jardel and Fosu Mensa in the centre. Lindelof at right back and Murray is going to continue in goal. Fosu Mensa over to Lindelof. Still not managed to get a shot on target in this game either side. Horta spreads the ball out wide to Grimaldo brilliantly. He puts a cross in and it's gone all the way into the back of the net. A flute goal has given us a lead. So Meta, edge of our area. He's got through, turned the defence and managed to get the equaliser for Genk just after half time. Lindlof sends the ball in. There's Horta, edge of the area to Rafa Silva. Now Jimenez back to Samaris. Kubas. Samaris spins it out wide to Lindelof. He's got players to aim for. It's cleared out by NDD. And there's a race on there, but Fosu Mensa wins it. Now Kubas. He still only had two efforts on goal, and one of them was a total fluke that actually went in. Here's Horta, tackled. Samaris picks it up, finds Horta with a bit more space. Raul Jimenez finds Rafa. There's Lincoln, who... Fires an absolute rocket into the bottom corner to put us in front. Bamba loses a ball to Kubas. Now Zivkovic can bring it forward. Can we get the third goal that would wrap up the points? Instead, we've lost the ball and Bamba can come again down the right. Suzic into Scrivers. Indeed, he sends it forward, but to nobody in particular. And Semedo can counter-attack. He's charging forward and gives the ball away again. Sloppy play from the team. And it's played down the line. And Samata, the goal scorer, has managed to get there. Fosu Mens has tackled, not doing anything whatsoever. Corellis puts it across. It's cleared. And they've just hit the post. 
Well, there is the final whistle. We have managed to hang on and get the victory that we deserved. It is another straight victory in the Europa League. And everybody else is sat on two points, which means we're seven points clear of the rest of the teams in this group. The only team to have actually won any games um, in our group, which is absolutely crazy. I can't remember the last time I saw anything like that. But it means that I think if we even avoid defeat in any of our remaining three matches, we will not only qualify, but also win the group. So we've done pretty well. Just worth noting that this is the first time that I think has ever happened that we have qualified for the first knockout round after just three games. I didn't even know that was actually possible. But because everybody else is tied on two points, there can't be a chance of all three actually overtaking us with the fixtures left. So for the first time I think I've ever seen, let me know if you've ever seen this happen, a four-team four group stage has been ended after just three games it's absolutely crazy so we now have three games where we don't have to worry about anything whatsoever well it's worth remembering after those two victories that the last time we played in the league we were hammered 4-1 by a team we really should be beating Braga are a better team than they were and they are going to be tough even though we were at home uh, we've lost Rafa Silva due to injury he'll be out for about a month so Gaitan is coming in on the right wing with Lincoln on the left wing Edison is back in goal Jimenez up front, Fosu Mensa is in the middle with Horta and Kubas. And then we've got Grimaldo, Jardel, Lindloff and Semedo in the back four. Gaitan, he's got the ball and he's counter-attacking. People to his left, including Lincoln. They are getting numbers back, but Lincoln keeps going and he's fouled by Bayarno in the penalty area. And we've got the chance to take the lead. Well, it is Raul Jimenez who steps up and he finds the bottom corner to put us in front after just four minutes. Jardel, sensible forward to Lincoln. He finds Fosu Mensa. Horta. Ball out wide to Grimaldo. He puts it in. A high scooped ball and Santos has hold, held on to somebody in the box. I think it was Gaitan. And we've got a chance for a second penalty. Up steps Jimenez again, and he finds the top corner this time to make it 2-0. Horta with the corner. Cleared away, Gaitan's there. Horta's got a lot of time and space, and he picks out Gaitan in an excellent area, and his effort ricochets into the back of the net. It's gone down as an Eduardo own goal. Horta sends the ball over the top. Lincoln's in behind. He puts it across. Zivkovic arriving, makes it 4-0. There is a full-time whistle. We get back to winning ways in the league in some style. A 4-0 crushing of Braga, which keeps the pressure up on Sporting Lisbon. They're still one point ahead of us and unbeaten in the league. But we're building a bit of a gap between the top two and the rest of the league. Well, we need to take on third place Mar Maritimo now, um, away from home. It's going to be quite tough. We've got uh, Batshuari coming back in up front. I am desperately looking for a new striker to replace him with, though. Um, and there is a chance he could also be booted out of the club in January if he doesn't buck up his ideas and get some goals soon. We are reliant on Jimenez until that time. And Lincoln has started to put a better shift in in that advanced playmaker role. Samaris Horta and Fosu Mensa are the midfield. Grimaldo, Jardel, Lindloff and Semedo make up the back four. Edison in goal. Grimaldo down the line, Jimenez picks it up, plays it into Lincoln, he finds Samaris, ball over to Semedo, he's got Batshuari in the middle, he's just forced out a bit too far wide, now Horta has it, across to Grimaldo, he's too central, Fosu Mensa finds Semedo in a better position, he puts a cross in and Lincoln at the near post is one of about four Benfica players who could have touched that in. Para. Brings the ball down the left, puts in the cross, Jardel gets it away. It's come to Panna again, now Cardoso. Switches flank brilliantly there to find Para. He puts it into Podence, Lindloff wins the ball back there. I was worried he's going to give away a penalty, but instead he launches it down the field for Jimenez to get onto. Roderick back to the keeper, but it's given straight to Lincoln, who finds Jimenez, who puts it wide. He had to score there. Lincoln's free kick and he's found the top corner 2-0 two goals for him today and we should be taking the points corner from Lincoln in towards Jardel it's cleared away Grimaldo has it he finds Lincoln across to Horta now Fosu Mensa back 
Jardel to Grimaldo, Porter, Lincoln. Just slowly trying to work the ball in. There's a cross, and it's gone all the way in. There was a mix-up in the defence, and Jimenez was there to get the final touch. Podent, sensible forward. Lopez is getting onto it. Skips a tackle, pulls it across, and Andrada is there to tuck it home. Well, there is the final whistle. It is a very good 3-1 victory, a dominant victory against a team that are third in the league. It extends the gap over them to seven points. We're still one point behind Sporting Lisbon because of that defeat we suffered. They are the only unbeaten team left in the league. Porto eight points further behind us, not really in the title race at this point. Um, but there's still quite a lot of work to do in this league. Um, but we are playing Sporting at the end of this episode. Because we've pretty much won the Europa League group already, I am going to switch the team around a bit for the match against Genk, especially as we're taking on uh, Sporting Lisbon at home in just a few days' time, and that is an absolutely crucial game in the title race. So we're going to have Gomez partnering Batshuari up top with Gaitan uh, coming in for Lincoln in the advanced playmaker role. Samaris and Fosu Mensa are now joined by Carvalho with Horta dropping to the bench. Grimaldo, Jardel, uh, Tuan Zebe and Semedo are the back four. Gaitan with a free kick, sends it into the middle for Tuan Zebe. Ball cleared out, but Gaitan again into Z Gomez, who powers a header past the goalkeeper to put us a front, uh, in front just two minutes into the match. Semedo. Still on the ball, he's not passing it, and then he does find Tuan Zebe. Semedo again, charging down the right flank this time. Goes past two players, puts it inside, Samaris is there. He goes for goal and he's found the back of the net. We're 2-0 up inside four minutes. Well, there is the full-time whistle. It has finished 2-0 to us as we continue a perfect run in this episode. It means also that we've already won the group with two games to go. Michelin getting the first win of another team in the group stage. So they are on course to finish in second place. But we are already through and can consider resting players for the rest of the games in this group. Well, last episode, we did put together five wins in a row before being absolutely smashed in the league. We've put five wins in a row together again this time, but we absolutely must not lose this game against Sporting Lisbon. We are at home and it's a big game in the title race. If we win this, we will go back top of the league and end Sporting's unbeaten run. Um, they've won all but one game drawing that. We've won all but one of our league games, but losing that. That's the only difference between the teams, but we can settle that today. We've got Raul Jimenez coming back up front. He's fresh, as is Lincoln on the left wing. Gaetan is going to be on the right. Horta is fresh as well, having missed the game in midweek. He's joined by Samaris and Kubas, who also only played as a substitute. Grimaldo, Jardel, Lindlof and Semedo are the back four. Edison continues in goal. Medeiros with the free kick. Sporting lucky to get their attack going. Medeiros again. Taking the ball out wide. There's Silva putting in and it's in from Rick Senna. We've fallen behind at home to the league leaders. Hugo Malio sends the ball over. Mateus back to Paulista. Samaris with a good tackle, but he can't keep the ball. Now Silva attacking down the left again. Gaitan gets in there with a crunching tackle. Now Semedo can come forward. Horta brings the ball forward to Gaitan. Ball over the top, so looking for Jimenez. He's got in behind the defence, but he's got no support whatsoever. Ball cleared away. Lindlof wins the header. Horta nods it on, but Carvalho is there. He's given it away to Lincoln, though. That's a dangerous thing for him to do. Now Kubas to Samaris. Forward to Gaitan. The man free on the right. Instead, he chooses Grimaldo on the left. He puts the cross in, and Raul Jimenez with the glancing header pulls us back on level terms. Horta. Looking to get the lead for us. He charges down the left. He's still got the ball. Pulls it across and Jimenez nearly got another glancing header goal. Grimaldo's throw to Kubas. Now Horta finds Samaris on the edge of the area. And his shot has deflected in off Semedo. We've taken the lead. Medeiros with the free kick. As Semedo tries to get the equaliser, Edison claims the ball. 
We still need that third goal to really just wrap up the points. And Zivkovic can charge down the right. Instead, he plays it into the middle for Fosu Mensa. Horta forward to Jimenez. Ball spread out to Lindlof. Now Zivkovic to Horta again. Finds Jimenez. And he finds the back of the net. We're 3-1 up against Sporting Lisbon. Their unbeaten run is coming to an end. Well, there is a full-time whistle, and we are back at the top of the league. We are now two points clear, I think, of Sporting. It's a very good performance. Ten games played, nine wins, and one defeat. That is not bad at all. Two points clear and eight points clear of Porto as well. We are setting ourselves up very well. Well, that is it for this episode. What a finish that was. Coming from behind to beat Sporting and take back the top of the league. Six wins in a row. We've got very, very good form so far uh, with our life in Portugal. Next time, we will have the fourth round of the Taça de Portugal placard. Then we'll finish off the Europa League group stage as well. We'll also have the uh, Portuguese version of the League Cup kicking off, which is quite a strange competition because you actually start off in a group stage um, and more Premier League games to come. Now, before I finish, there is some more news to tell you about, and that is transfer news. As you can see, we have three players joining the club. The first one is Lewis Cook, the legend of the Newcastle series. We've managed to pick him up for about £25 million, which is not bad. We've also finally managed to sign Thiago Maia. He is over his injury and will be joining us in midfield. And we've also picked up Jesus Vallejo from Real Madrid for £29.5 million. He has the potential to become a world-class defender um, and it's an area we're definitely lacking. We're currently relying on loan players in that position. So they are three players for the future who are going to be not only instant successes, but going to get stronger and stronger over the next two years as we look to challenge both in Europe and at home. So a lot to look forward to. Um, drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to these players joining the club in January. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more from this series. But until next time. See ya.